The big problem a lot of new people have is when they first get started, it's just too much. They don't know where to start and they start to dabble in all these various niches. They dabble in clothing, they dabble, dabble in shoes, they start messing around with electronics and maybe sports cards and vintage items and this and that. And next thing you know, they've spent hundreds of dollars and not making any money and this is the problem. What's going on everybody? Steve here at Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com and in this video I want to talk th to the new reseller who is just getting started selling on eBay and you're starting to go to thrift stores but you're extremely overwhelmed. You're watching a bunch of YouTube videos, maybe you're part of some Facebook groups and you notice that there's a million and one items that you could sell and maybe you came from a mind frame previously where you didn't even know that you could sell things like CD players or various electronics, VCRs, board games, toys, clothing, coffee machines, blenders, cameras. You didn't realize this stuff had value secondhand, but now you've been introduced to this crazy world of reselling and you're saying to yourself, all right, I'm gonna go to the thrift store and I'm gonna start making some money, but a lot of people get started and they never really master or really learn how to make money in that area. You make money as a reseller because you're able to have that eye that vision to find something undervalued and bring it to the market and sell it at its current market value. But you've got to become a master or at least proficient or good enough to be able to recognize a good deal. And a lot of people just buy things thinking it's a good deal when it's really not. So I'm going to share with you my formula, what I would do if I was brand new again, if I was just getting started into reselling and specifically thrift stores. So first thing I would do, number one, is I would ask myself, what am I currently knowledgeable about what's something that i'm passionate about that i know a lot about maybe you're huge into shoes and you've been collecting jordans your whole life that would be a great area to get started with shoes shoes are a absolutely fantastic niche and category to get into especially at thrift stores and you know i want to give a big shout out to my buddy jerry back in connecticut who you know he was a follow of mine for for years and he was kind of dabbling in a whole bunch of different things and then when he found shoes that's when his business really started to uh, take off. So a uh, big shout out to Jerry. But yeah, ask yourself, what are you knowledgeable about? Maybe you're really knowledgeable with, with sports cards, like my good friend Eric, who I think he's 22 or 23. He's already done over a million dollars in sales just with sports cards. But that's he knew sports. He was a student of the game. And he was able to get in that opportunity, find a mentor, and really take things to the next level. You know, for me, I got into clothing. I loved clothing. I loved wearing different pieces of clothing. Even though I wasn't an expert, I had a little bit of knowledge in that and I was interested in it. I was passionate about it. So start with your current knowledge. What are you passionate about? And I would start to dive into that niche first. Don't walk into a thrift store when you're new and start dabbling with clothing and shoes and sports cards and toys and books and you're just jumping all around because you're gonna become overwhelmed. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes. There's gonna be mistakes that you make regardless, but when you start jumping from niche to niche, category to category, you're going with that shotgun approach, you're going to, you're gonna lose your shirt in the beginning. So if you don't have a lot of money, maybe you only have a couple hundred dollars, maybe you're a broke college student or maybe you're someone who's on a really tight budget and you've retired and you're living off of social security or maybe you know, you're working a job right now and you're, you're hand to mouth and you only have a little money to allocate towards this reselling business. Be smart. Choose one specific niche. I just put out a video the other day talking about what I believe to be, uh, you know, my top three niches to get started with. And I'll link that down below, but choose something. You don't have to choose one of the niches that I selected, but choose something that you're passionate about and that you're knowledgeable with. It's going to help you so much. Step number two, and this is before we go into the thrift stores, I'm just kind of setting the mindset here, um, is go into the sold listings on eBay. So let's just say that you decide, all right, I'm going to get into clothing. Start spending 30 minutes a day going through the eBay sold listings. The sold listings are um, a set of items, right? You can like specify, you can filter out like Ralph Lauren Polo and you can set like the price and if it's buy it now or if it's auction, if it's size large, you can kind of, you know, filter through and set what items you want to focus on and start to study to learn what Ralph Lauren Polo items sell best. Is it the polo shirts? Is it the shorts? Is it the, 
I don't know, the shirts that have like a big logo on it or is it a small logo, or is it the two extra large? You start to study the sole listings and whatever niche you decide that you want to get started with. And now I do wanna preface this video by saying all because you start with clothing or you start with shoes or you start with toys doesn't mean that's where you're gonna end up in your eBay career if you make this and scale this to something that you're excited about. But you have to start somewhere and that's gonna be a stepping stone to the next thing. You know, I started with bicycles and then that led me to selling clothing and then that led me to Amazon and books and then Kindle publishing and eBooks and all these different crazy things. So don't beat yourself up and be like, oh, you know, if I start with this, like I don't wanna be doing toys my whole life. I'm 33 years old, it's ridiculous. Um, you never know where it's gonna to lead to. So um, figure out what your current knowledge is, pick a niche, start studying it in the soul, start studying that niche in the soul listings to gather that knowledge, and then start going to the thrift store and focus in that area. If you decided on clothing and you've been studying the sold listings, let's dive into the clothing racks. Let's start looking at all the jeans. Let's start looking at all the polo shirts. Maybe you wanna niche down into blazers, sport coats and suits, or ties, or scarves, right? So you could start to like dive down into a sub niche of the niche. You don't have to just go with like such a huge broad topic, but you do have to choose something or you're gonna get overwhelmed. Uh, step number four, so we talked about choose your current knowledge, study the sold listings, go to the thrift store, go into that specific area. Number four is gonna be experiment. You're going to make mistakes, you're gonna lose a little bit of money, you're gonna have some home runs, some doubles, some triples, you're gonna knock it out of the park, but every now and then you're gonna do something stupid like get a return, or you're gonna buy the wrong item, or there's a flaw on it, or maybe you deal with like a Vero issue or something like that, you sell an item that you weren't supposed to because you didn't realize it and you get your account suspended. Like these are gonna be things that happen but these are the steps that you have to take the natural progression towards success instead of ending up like a lot of people just starting this business and quitting saying it doesn't work. That's BS. There's so many people who are making this business work and you definitely can as well, but you want to take a, you know, a smart approach and, you know, the story about the tortoise and the hare, you don't have to like you don't have to shoot off in the race right, like the hair and go crazy and wear yourself out and quit and burn yourself out. You could be the tortoise, nice and slow and steady. You start listing three items a week, five items a week, and next thing you know, you build up to 10 items a day, and next thing you know, next thing you know you're selling three, $5,000 a month, and you've got yourself a steady income stream that you can count on. So start experimenting, start buying these various items. When you're in the thrift store, start looking up these items on your cell phone, check out the sold listings, check out how frequently they're selling especially if you don't have a lot of money, you don't wanna be investing tons of money into these long tail items that might take three or six months or you're spending $14 on an item that could sell for 60, but it might take eight months. In the beginning, you wanna flip it, you wanna get your money back, you wanna build your confidence. So um, that's something to definitely consider. And then number five, you have to ask yourself, is this the opportunity that I wanna go after? Maybe you realize after a month or after a couple weeks, you know what, I don't wanna sell books. My area doesn't have a ton of books. Maybe there's not a lot of universities. Maybe it's a lower income area. Maybe there's just not a ton of great opportunities for selling books or maybe clothing. Maybe your Goodwills, like in my area lately, you know, there's a Goodwill, they're going crazy. They're taking any item that sells for $40 or more and they're sending into the shopgoodwill.org website or whatever it is. So maybe you, you, have to, you have to find what the opportunity is at your thrift store. They're all different based upon where you live and you know, there's so many other factors, but you want to experiment. So ask yourself, is this the best opportunity? Maybe I should, maybe I should only do this 20% and now let's move on to another opportunity. But at least you've built a strong foundation for clothing or shoes or toys or books, whatever it is. So now you can pick the low hanging fruit and th then start to spend your time learning about other things. But dedicate when you're first getting started, dedicate yourself to one niche and then learn quickly if it's a good opportunity or not. You might have to, you know, make a different move or switch up the direction of your path, but at least you're starting with something and not going that traditional route of just being overwhelmed and quitting because you're just, there's just too much. There's so much you have to learn. There's so many hats you have to wear when you're running an eBay business. It's not as easy as people make it sound. You know, there's sourcing, then there's li listing, and then there's shipping, and there's customer service, and there's taxes, and bookkeeping, and managing inventory. So there's a lot that goes into it. So hopefully this video added value to you. I would love to know in the comments down below, what's your number one piece of advice that you would give to somebody who's just getting started, they're just learning about this world of reselling, and they don't know how to get started? What advice would you give? Would love to hear your comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you learned and subscribe for more videos. And of course, tap that bell notification to get notified 
each and every time that we release a new video. So until then, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.